Hi again, it's me, Meli Kachian. Um, today, I'm back to the chess.com and I'm, uh, I'm going to introduce you one of my uh, recent games. I just came from a tournament in Reno, uh, Nevada, and I've been playing, uh, I'm not saying very nice tournament, uh, but I'm playing very nice people, very strong players, and one of those games I'm going to introduce today, uh, it's uh, have been played in round four, and I had white pieces, and I played um, against international master Michael Brooks. Uh, but before I get back to the game, I would like to talk about something. Um, I got many emails from you guys uh, by asking me to provide uh, a lecture by analyzing the games of some other players. Uh, let's say Magnus Carlsen or my former student Levon Aronian. Or sometimes uh, I'm getting emails uh, by asking me to prepare the lectures, uh, let's say analyzing the games of, uh, let's say classical games. It's all great. Uh, I always didn't mind to, to do that. But what I believe is the best for you would be, from my point of view, it's to show you, to teach you, to explain to you all these ideas, all these insiders. Because if you noticed, uh, in my own games, in my in my lectures, I'm always trying to provide uh, some interesting stuff which I believe wouldn't be explained well in the books or softwares or DVDs. So I'm basically trying to teach you some some important principles how we play chess. Let's say my most important principle: how to think from the head, how, how to understand um, the, your opponent's thoughts. Uh, all this stuff. It's the best would be explained, my personal opinion, if I will do that based on my own games. Because I played them and I felt them. And that's why it's not really my, my advice. It's, uh, if you take a look at the great books of, let's say, uh, Mark Tvoretsky, he always mentioned that. And I've been taught uh, back to Soviet Union, back to Moscow, and I've been taught by great players, by great tutors. And I remember... My own tutor, Tiran Petrosian, used to say the same thing. So, and that's why he been keep pushing us after each tournament to analyze your own games and analyze not just one hour or two hours, analyze a lot, analyze a lot. So, that's the point why I always, since then, uh, I'm analyzing my own games. I'm trying to improve my games, and when I'm sharing my thoughts with you guys. I believe the best way to teach you play better would be to simply show some of my interesting games, some of my interesting fights. Now, get back to my game. Um, this game was very important because uh, the tournament is very short. Uh, it's typically in America, we played six rounds tournament, and obviously, uh, you know, everyone's trying to push for win. And the field was very strong. We had like nine grandmasters and about six IMs, a very strong field for 10 prizes. So obviously, um, we need, you need to play very well in this tournament. And I start a very rough tournament because in the very first round, I had the black pieces versus some master from New York, and I couldn't break his defense. And at some point, I believed um, uh, I wasn't able to get back to the tournament and play for first place, which I always do. And uh, but then I found some strength inside of me, and I uh, played very interesting games. And this was very crucial round for myself because I knew I have to play for a win. And by the way, I'm playing this Michael Brooks guy, who is uh, one of the most underrated international masters in uh, U.S. nation. So I'm a white. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.